Good morning. Today is Thursday, December 16th, 2021. Today is a B day. The week of December 20 to December 23rd is Spirit Week. Monday is Pajama Day. Tuesday is Class Color Wars. Seniors wear red. Juniors wear green. Sophomores wear silver or white. And freshmen wear blue. Wednesday is Holiday Character Day. And Thursday is Ugly Sweater Day. The NFA Main Winter Concert 1 will take place on Wednesday, December 22nd, 2021 at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Please note that attendance is limited due to COVID protocols. If you would like to sing or play the Hallelujah Chorus, please see a music a teacher. Thank you. Good morning, Spanish Club members. Learn more about the Spanish culture this coming week. Join the Google Classroom of the Spanish Club to know more about the Posados in Mexican in Mexico. A traditional Christmas custom. Please see Mr. Ke Mrs. Kennedy if you need more information about the Spanish Club code number. I'll see you there. Candy Cane Gram sponsored by the class of 2024 sophomores. Each Candy Cane Gram is $2. Pre-sale ends December 17th. Distribution will begin the week of December 20th in the homerooms. Order forms are circulating throughout the cafeterias and libraries. You are also able to order from your launch pad. If you would like extra help in Spanish, please sign up for the Empire program. Ms. Pimentel is tutoring all levels on Tuesdays and Thursdays in room 145 from 220 to 350. Ms. Ms. Caldara will be holding another round of auditions for the NFA Step Hip Hop team on Wednesday, December 22nd from 2.30 to 4 o'clock in the NFA Dance Studio. Please come dressed and prepared for tryouts. Also, packets will be collected and given out if this is your first time trying out. Please see Ms. Caldara periods 4, 7, or 9 in room 236 if you have any questions. The Colonnade Magazine is looking for student work for the annual publication. Please submit your poems, short stories, plays, or your photographs, artwork, doodles to the Colonnade advisors, Mr. Walls and Mrs. McCurdy. Feel free to contact them with any questions at the email below. The Poetry Out Loud competition is a national organized program where high school students are scored based on their skill of memorizing and performing selected poems. The two highest scoring students from Newburgh Free Academy will have an opportunity to compete against other Hudson Valley students at SUNY New Paltz in January. Winners on the regional level proceed to the state and national level for a chance of winning some some of the 50,000 prize money that is awarded during the finals. The NFA Poetry Out Loud competition to determine the two local winners who will win the honor con continuing to the regional competition will be held on Tuesday, December 21st. Interested students should see Mr. Wiles in the room 143 or Mr. Mrs. McCurdy in room 273 for a list of approved poems, as well as the rules and regulations for the competition. The senior cosmetology class will have clinic hours on Fridays, offering discounted prices to students and staff members. Beauty services will be offered during the times of 7.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Fridays only. What time does class start? Uh, I don't know. I think in a couple minutes. Oh, we're late. We gotta go. You're late. I know. I'm, I'm... Oh, man. I'm really sorry. Don't let it happen again. Everyone, I promise. Oh, man. I never want to be late again. If they call my dad, he's going to kill me. Take your hat off. It's a wig. Oh, that's in the hallway. Follow the dress code. The school requires no hats or hoods in the school. If hats and hoods are found, you will be detained. Follow the dress code. The Empire program will run on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.20 to 3.50. There is no busing yet. Please see Mr. Cruz in 2.64 or Mrs. Salisbury in the main office for more information and schedules. Sila Villatisseri is in room 13 with Mrs. Van Reyes and Mrs. Mendez. Music will be in 258 with Dr. Carroll. Building Beautification is in room 138 with Mrs. Michaud.
If you are already registered, report directly to the lecture room upon dismissal. Other activities will be announced soon. As a reminder to our students, you must have your ID with you and visible at all times. There will be various security checks throughout the building where your ID will need to be presented if you are in the hallway after the bell. If you do not have your ID, you will be detained. Have a good day, NFA. I mean, if you need a haircut really badly, then you could just like, you know, go to this room. It's the cosmetology room. You can honestly just choose many different choices right here on this paper right now, so if you want. Which one do you think I should get? I don't know which one to get. Well, from the looks of your style of hair and choice, I'd say most likely probably get the highlighting and color for foil, which is only $3 if you want. Do you think I should get the color blue and gold for the highlights? Yeah, I mean, it would be good promotion colors for the school, you know, the school that we're in, Newbrook Free Academy. Want to get your hair done? Go to cosmetology. Good morning. I'm Declan Welling, your host for Game Clock. Winter sports has officially started, and the bowling team has kicked off their season with two wins and no losses. The varsity swim team lost to Washingtonville 103-80, and they will play FDR on Monday. Now for the weekly wrap-up with host JJ Seglio. Welcome to the first edition of the weekly wrap-up, where we cover all of this week's games in a nutshell. We start off in South Beach, where the struggling New York football Giants took on the red-hot Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins defeated the Giants 20-9 off of two touchdowns from quarterback Tua Tagovailoa. The Giants fall to 4-8 while the Dolphins extend their winning streak to five games and improve their record to 6-7. Going back to East Rutherford, the Jets were beaten by the Eagles 33-18 off a great game from Eagles backup QB Gardner Minshew and tight end Dallas Goddard. The Eagles bounced back from last week's embarrassing loss to the Giants and improved to 6-7 while the Jets continued to slump and fall to 3-9. The Los Angeles Rams snapped a three-game win streak with a 37-7 win over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Matthew Stafford had a big, big bounce-back game. He found his favorite target twice in Cooper Cup while also throwing Odell Beckham Jr. a touchdown. The 8-4 Rams looked to defeat the 10-2 Cardinals on Monday Night Football. On Monday, the New England Patriots faced off against the Bills in some of the worst wins of the year. The Patriots had to rely on the run game as they defeated the Bills 14-10. The Patriots only threw the ball three times in this game as the wins were too strong to get any passing offense. The Patriots have now won seven in a row and improved to nine and, nine and four, while the Bills have lost the lead in the division and fall to seven and five. The Patriots are back, and this is not good for the NFL. The Dallas Cowboys have had a very up and down season, losing to the Raiders, Chiefs, and Broncos, but riding the Patriots, Giants, Eagles, and so on. The six and four Cowboys went down to the Big Easy to face the five and six Saints on Thursday Night Football. The Cowboys went on to win 27-17 after a good performance by the Cowboys' defense, getting four interceptions, setting up short drives for Dallas to put points on the board. The Cowboys improved to 7-4, while the Saints slumped to 5-7 and have now lost five in a row. It was rivalry week in the Steel City as the Pittsburgh Steelers played host to the Baltimore Ravens. The game came down to the last play. The Steelers were up 20-13, and the Ravens scored with 12 seconds left to make it 20-19. The Ravens decide instead of trying to tie it to go for an unorthodox way to end it, a two-point conversion to win it. They were stopped, and the Steelers hung on to win 20-19 and improved to 6-5-1, and one, while the Ravens fall to 8-4. and four. History was made in the Motor City. The impossible happened. The 5-6 and six Vikings faced the 0-10-1 Detroit Lions, and for a good amount of the game, the Lions were winning. But the Vikings scored with a minute 30 left in the game to give them a 27-23 lead. It all came down to Lions quarterback Jared Goff to drive down for the win. On 4th and 2, down by 4, Goff threw a game-winning touchdown, and for the first time this season, the Detroit Lions have won a football game. They won 29-27. The Lions improved to 1-10-1 and are somehow still alive in playoff contention. Meanwhile, the Vikings are soul-searching and fall to a 5-7 record. Things were heating up in Cincinnati. The Cincinnati Bearcats were the only undefeated team left in college football at number 4. Until a bowl of lightning hit Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. The Bengals were one of the best teams in the AFC and a legit division contender at 7-4 going into their matchup against the 6-5 Chargers. This was supposed to be a good game. It was not. The Chargers dominated right from the start as Justin Herbert threw three touchdown passes in the 41-22 route over the Bengals. The Chargers improved to 7-5, while the Bengals fall to 7-5. Here are the other games that I missed. 
The Arizona Cardinals defeated the struggling Bears 33 to 22 to improve to 10 and 2, while the Bears fall to 4 and 8. Arizona plays the all-in LA Rams on Monday night and open up as 2.5 point favorites. The Washington football team defeated the Las Vegas Raiders 17 to 15 on a game-winning field goal to extend their winning streak to four games and improve to 6 and 7, while the Raiders fell to 6 and 6. The Indianapolis Colts traveled to Houston and dominated the Texans 31 to nothing. With this loss, the Texans fall to 2 and 10 are now eliminated from playoff contention. While the Colts improved to 7 and 6. The Buccaneers defeated the Falcons 30 to 17 in Atlanta. The Seahawks upset the streaky 49ers 30 to 23 in Seattle, and the Kansas City Chiefs defeated the Broncos 22 to 9 on Sunday Night Football. That's all we have for today for the weekly wrap up. I'm JJ Seglio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you Week 14. There's an MLB lockout currently after players and owners have reached a disagreement. There is no telling when it will end, but since the MLB has had a tough past two years, it will probably be before the start of the regular season. The Rangers are on a seven-game winning streak. In the NBA, unvaccinated players now cannot play in Canada. This shouldn't be too big of an issue because over 95% of players are vaccinated. Thank you for watching Game Clock, and sadly, LaMelo Ball is injured. you're going? Yes, Jess, I am talking to you. First off, you're not going anywhere without your seatbelt on. You also need to remove your cell phone from your lap to prevent temptation of using it. Lastly, you need to adjust your mirrors so they're focused on the road and not yourself. All right, Jess, you are ready to hit the road. Drive safe. Larry, let's look for letters. Alrighty, mate. Trumpet, what are you doing here? You're too young for this. Oh, Come on, tight. guys, please. Right. I know words like C A T spells cat. Trumpet, we're making harder okay, words than that. Come on, Mary. Please. Fine, Trumpet, you can come. Can you see any letters? A fine tune, mate. Destination and L. Let's go walk around. I found an O, an A, an N, and a V. Good job, Max. I want to find a letter. Leave some for me. I told you you're too young for this. Let's go check somewhere else. Over here, mate, so I found some more. There's an I, E, H, and N. Do you remember that one video? I think that's all of them. Hey, I wanted to find a letter. Sorry, mate. Got them all here. Hey, guys, I found a letter A. That's our missing letter. Put it between the H and N. What does it say? It says, I love Hannah. Yay, we found all the letters.